Today, San Gimignano really blows us away. No, but like actually though. The Tuscan town of Towers is home to the world famous Gelateria Dondoli, otherwise known as the best gelato in the world. Like it literally won that award. World champion school. And we can't help but embark on a very messy endeavor to try as many flavors as possible. Like the one of a kind, albeit confusing, red wine gelato. That's kind of crazy. And their signature flavor named after Michelle Obama's refined sweetness. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but. This is by far our messiest episode. We accidentally stumble across a castle courtyard where we try the Vernaccia di San Gimignano, a famous white wine that seems to transport us back in time nearly 700 years to meet Dante himself. Oh, I'm intrigued. We laugh, we eat, we drink coffee with Sambuca, and we climb the town's tallest tower, where its sweeping views give us the chance to see why everybody believes San Gimignano is the most beautiful town in Tuscany. We're Matteo and Misha, and we're currently on the world's slowest Italian Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. Subscribe to follow the adventure. <laughs> First time actually using a non urban bus. City to city, coming now, bus 130. Made it. Okay, we'll activate your tickets. Okay. I feel like we're going to Magello. Remember the bus to Magello? I, bus system, I do not advise using the app if you are not at least partially coherent in Italian. Because it is. I see the Italians don't use that. They literally go to the station and buy tickets because it's that complex to use. So I spent like two hours of my life figuring it out. And it's just a real. You need like the whole tax code in Italy and everything. It's just a. It's a process. Just buy the physical ticket. Yeah. We just got to San Gimignano, a little bit chilly in the wind. It is currently 11.30 on a Friday. Let's go, let's hit it. in the wild <laughs> I just found ice cream on my <laughs> sleeve oh no this is an interesting sight you're never cold yeah this <laughs> wind is chilly I was gonna wear shorts I need to go buy a clip so excuse the wind and our hair just I mean I just have no control over this at this point but uh, we just arrived and we were walking down the main street through the gate and there's so many lovely shops selling a lot of really cute things so this is a lovely entry way into the city a lovely first impression well not first impression we've both been here but <laughs> we're very excited to be here we're just stumbling over view after view i mean you're just these alleyways are incredible so both of us have actually been to san gimignano before when we we're both tour guides in italy but to be honest we haven't actually really explored the city we kind of just went to the one ice cream place I think that's literally all I remember about it, to be honest with you. And the towers and the winery, but that's we stopped at wineries outside. So it'll be awesome to see it through different eyes today again. It should be exciting. The views here are stunning, but you 
can smell strong fire in the air. So they're probably gonna be pretty smoky today, so we hope they clear up a little. I don't even know where to begin. We're gonna go to a cafe. If you can hear anything, write in the comments. I can hear you through the wind. If you can't, this is a voiceover. <laughs> Let's go to the cafe. I put on chapstick and my hair just keeps getting stuck to my face. What I've been trying to do is find Michelle a hair clip, but this town is known as one of the most touristic towns in Tuscany. And so, there's only shops set up for little souvenirs and stuff. This is a pretty cool street. Look at this giant ivy. Welcome to the town of Towers, San Gimignano. And today, the windiest city in Italy. I love how every few steps you just seem to come across another alley that looks like this. Funny enough, this is the same alley that we need to go to our cafe. Oh no, look in front of us. That looks like a grey cloud. Okay. <laughs> there is so much wind here that I'm not even scared for the grey clouds behind us. These clouds won't stay here. They'll just be <laughs> blown away like we are. If you're blown away too, like and subscribe. <laughs> At least we picked the sunny day. Are these homes? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in the Shire. Matteo's Italian travel tip of the day. Don't forget to bring some non-drowsy allergy medication with you at all times for days such as today. If you look behind me, this is enough to make anybody's allergies flare up, especially those who are prone to allergy. Don't forget your Allegra. I think Allegra is only American, so bring your country's equivalent. Isn't this for like horses? The main middle is for the drain. But isn't the side step for horses? For Let me just have the horse theory. I forgot what we were doing for a second. We're going out of the center to go find a nice little cafe on the side because, as I said, this is the most touristic place in Tuscany. After Florence. Like how we're just like chilling over someone's garden. Weather. Something can fly out of someone, hit you in the head. Those are so delightful. Oh, they have a, the Baba Arum ricotta and pear. Saffron. The lemon. Okay, we're going to take one of those. Oh, that looks so yummy. Cafe Coretto, right now. Cafe Coretto, no. It's Italian. It's good. That's, I don't mean. It's starting very fast. Okay, Cafe Coretto. Sambuca. Now, Sambuca, Cavecchio. We need Sambuca and coffee. Well, I guess it's just, it's sí. officially hit noon, so. <laughs> um, ginseng. Per me, grazie mille. <laughs> that was such an aggressive decision. <laughs> but look at these cakes behind you. Yo, those are the cutest little cake tart cheesecakes I've ever seen. That one looks like it's Snickers or peanut butter. Sambuca for my friend. <laughs> so aggressive. Does it smell like bad decisions? No, because the coffee hides it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Will we live to regret this? I got the little ginseng coffee. So this is coffee, but it's got ginseng in it. So it's it's sweeter. I absolutely love this combo. We've gotten a saffron and a lemon. And I think he said almond as well. This little slice of cake. Mateo got his cafe. Carenzo. I can smell the sambuca. <laughs> I know. 
It's okay. Be good. It's, it's Friday, so you're fine. Are you really adding sugar to this? I don't know. I should try it first. Try it and see. No, you know what? Just add the sugar. Just, add the sugar. just, just, just go the whole all in. Packet. Oh, that's it's so strong. It's a bold move, Cotton. We'll see if it works. To be honest, I've been reading up about a whole bunch of different coffees and snacks, treats across Italy, and I'm tired of just getting a normal espresso. That's fine on like our non-filming days, but I've got to try something new for you guys. This is called a Cafe Corretto. So what you're saying is you're taking one for the oh, team I'm today? taking one for the team. It's an espresso with an alcohol. Today's alcohol is Sambuca. If you've been following our YouTube channel for long enough, you know that I used to work in an Irish pub in Florence. And my first few nights working there as kind of an initiation, they used to make me down lots and lots of Sambuca. So this one's a little throwback to then, except this one has coffee in it. I don't know whether to cheers or whether to sip it. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. That is a conflicting flavor because you have your coffee come through and then the subtle, it's not subtle, I definitely not subtle Sambuca, but it seems to make the Sambuca so much more palatable. I actually really like it and it's midday right now. This is gonna get me off to a good start. It's warming my insides, it's giving me a caffeine boost. It is not terrible. It's definitely not light because I can smell the Sambuca. <laughs> it's so strong. I can smell it from here. What a weird concoction. It just looks like a normal espresso, but it's not. Nah, do you want to try it? Yeah, okay. I didn't sign up for this bad decision today, but when you're married, you become one. So now the part of this too, I'm going to give it a try just for a sip because I've never actually had one of these. Ooh, yeah, that is like, funny thing is I actually don't mind Sambuca, I actually kind of like it. So, let's see. I see what you mean. It is, it tastes like Sambuca, but way more palatable, like coffee infused. That's actually not bad. I can actually sip this. Normally when I have Sambuca, I take it as a shot, but I could actually sip this, which is really saying something. Okay, I can see why this is a thing. That's actually really good, but um, I'm not boarding the Sambuca train right now. So I'm gonna give that back to Mateo and just stick with my normal ginseng coffee. If you guys saw our day in the life video in our apartment on my second channel, you know that I actually try and make ginseng coffee at home. I make my normal coffee and then I buy the Nescafe ginseng packet separately and add it to my coffee in the morning. Oh, but at a cafe, I mean, they just really nail it on the head. So happy we found it today. Oh, that's delicious. If you ever get a chance, go for the ginseng if you like the sweeter coffees. Saffron is actually a huge thing here in San Gimignano. From my understanding, the hills of San Gimignano actually produce a lot of saffron. And so a lot of their meals, dishes, treats are all infused with it. This is a lemon and saffron cake with almonds on the top. It's got a bit of a cheesecake-y consistency. Let's taste it. It's good, it's not sweet, but it's not super like lemon. This has its own unique flavor. I don't quite know how to actually describe it, to be honest with you. I might have to leave that one up to Michelle. It doesn't taste like anything we've tried, ever. That is so hard to explain. I'm actually a little bit out of a loss how to explain this flavor. This is why I left it up to you. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> The crunchiness of the almonds on top, they're almost like caramelized. They add the crunchiness to the soft uh, kind of gelatinous part of the, the cake. And the crust underneath is also nice. But that taste, yeah. I'm not getting an... I don't know. If you've tried something like this, if you've tried stuff, like, help us out in the comments. I don't know. I really don't. The Cafe Corretto doesn't pair well with treats, sweets, snacks. I think it's like after dinner thing. I think we've learned our lesson, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. That's, Shame. that's hectic.
That is hectic. Grazie. Ciao. That was delightful. Yes. Woo. And we're back. I feel a bit warmer now. Yeah. They do have a lovely seating area out here, but it was just way too windy for that. Does the Cafe Coretto pen ask me with the cake? No. Do I recommend trying it? 100%. If you're in Italy, try a Cafe Coretto. You're not going to find it somewhere else. Maybe in after a hurry. dinner, though. After dinner or lunch. Maybe not at noon. <laughs> you know what pairs well with alcohol, coffee? Water. <laughs> Ooh, this is a steep city. So just be forewarned if you do want to go exploring, you are going to be climbing and descending and then climbing again. <laughs> is that Sambuca starting to swirl right. in your tum tum? sitting in me. Not in a bad way, just didn't I want to go get drunk at the pub now. Oh, okay. So, lethargic. And let this be a forewarning, kids. This is why you don't drink Sambuca at noon. I don't think you're supposed to do physical activity afterwards. It's a sad, sad state to see you in. How's that view, though? We seem to have come across a winery of sorts. In the middle of the city. You know what they say goes well with Sambuca? I know, I'm actually going to get a glass oh. of wine to try and pick me up. <laughs> but naturally, San Gimignano is their wine. It's known as the red white wine of Italy. It's white. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Whoa. This is so cool. at this view. Your hair's just going all over the place. I don't know what he's talking about. Fine. <laughs> I just can't see. Five year old glass. Section up up. Right, we're gonna see the strangest thing we found in Italy so far around the corner. I don't know whether I should tell you what it is or let you see what he is doing. Oh, I'm intrigued. That man standing on top of the world, what the one is preaching something. In a Dante outfit? Oh, it's the Divine Comedy. He recites it from memory? That's crazy. I'm gonna go put some money in his box and then you can try and hear what he's saying in the wind. This is like your bread and butter. You could do this. Yeah, Just... if I had a good memory. <laughs> He's reciting the Divine Comedy from memory. The man has a good memory. Mm. Ooh. These are some ancient steps. I think we might have made it to the castle. I think so. Look at how deep these steps are. This is a little bit perilous. Oh, we did. did we? <laughs> that was the wine tasting place. Look behind you. I could live in a castle with views like this. Incredible. We made it to the top with this gorgeous view, but it is even windier up here, believe it or not. So, uh, this is the castle. This is the castle. I think we might go have a glass of wine downstairs before we continue on our journey. 
maybe it'll help us withstand the wind. But this is a stunning view, and the fact that this guy's reciting Dante's Divine Comedy from memory just adds to the whole thing. I'm absolutely loving it. Everything smells, that the light smells, yeah. touches is in our kingdom. Oh, but it also might be a pea corner. Okay, so let's go. Never mind, Simba. This is not your kingdom. All right, and we're back. So is this how they dispense it? So you just like select the size you want and that's the amount you're charged. So this is like a wine vending machine. I just want to stick my mouth on the end of that pipe and let it go. All right, that's what you want. Yeah, just the basic one, right? Yeah. It's the vernaccio. Preferite un po' più fruttata o un po' più secca? La vernaccio è un vino bianco secca. The fruit is so dry. Why don't we do one in one? Okay, one in one. Five. So this is the dry one. So there's eight bottles in this one that are all different variations. This is the dry one. Tastes like a dry white one. Let's say I had the fruit one. Can taste the fruit one? Right. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. I don't know which one I prefer though. They're actually both really nice. I think if I had to pick again, I might do the fruit though. What do you think? I definitely wasn't born to be a sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> do you have a preference or are they equal to you? The same to me. I'm a disgrace to my origins. <laughs> Tastes like white wine. There's only one thing I hate more than rain. It's wind. Welcome to San Gimignano. There's going to be lots of drinking, lots of shouting. It's windy today. Remind me to say that intro again later. That's a pretty good one. Genius. Found a closer table. What does it taste like? Like they used the grapes that came from the vineyards around this area. Wow, what an astute <laughs> observation. But did you know that Vernaccia di San Gimignano was the first white wine in Italy to be put on the DOC list? The Denominazione Origine Controllata, which is like a quality grading system in Tuscany. So that's a fun fact. I think it was like in 1976. One of the decades. Just finished up at the castle winery on to the next adventure something smells incredibly delightful almost like a almond like marzipan or something all right we've decided that we are going to go inside the duomo now is it free to enter or do we need to buy a ticket billetteria is around the side ticket office duomo entrance perfect we made it world's smallest town okay Oh, you can download an audio guide for free. So the all-inclusive yeah, tickets there too. <laughs> Mateo! <laughs> Mateo, crap! <laughs> what? Wow. Mateo accidentally let go of our little map and it just... <laughs> I can't do this win. I can't do this win. Watching you chase it was the highlight of my day so far. I was desperate. I think this is the entrance for the Duomo. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. There's no wind inside. Underneath. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> There's no Excuse me, I'm not on my best form today. <laughs>
out of the church, you get a pretty cool view. This Duomo was beautiful, but honestly, the darkest church I think we've ever seen so far. The only church I think that could rival it would be San Miniato al Monte in Florence, because that one was also extremely dark. This is like on par with that, but it was beautiful. The interesting thing is that the altar is so, it looks almost burnt, like the inside of the church. When you look, it, it's not only dark, it looks like maybe there was a fire. I don't know if that something like that has happened. Probably or, you listen to the audio guide if you want the Yeah, there the, were, thing. the only things that were really done up were the side chapels. There was like two or three side chapels that were painted beautifully um, from like floor to ceiling, beautifully ornamented, but very dark. It's It looks like it almost is in need of restoration. There were beautiful paintings. I will say that it's dark, but at least everything's painted inside with the walls and everything. But yeah, it was just, I don't know what I was expecting. That, that wasn't it though, but it was, I'm really happy we got to see it. <laughs> Gelateria Dondoli has a school where he teaches different levels of gelato making. There's like the beginner, intermediate, advanced. We can learn how the process is actually made. I think there's one for children and one for adults. This is the gelateria in Italy that keeps winning the world awards for the best flavored gelato, which we're going to try later. Hey, look, we're on Matteo Street. That's you. I'm also a saint. <laughs> Very cute little shop. Hey, look at that. Time. Come on, $5.50. Oh, let's do that. cold. That's exactly what you're getting. Okay, cool. Only $5.50. Wow. Buongiorno. Wow. This man also has his wine on tap here. Cool. So is it just the warm one? Oh, dope. Nice. Hey, Bicchieri, the plastic cup. This man's a legend. He's giving us plastic cups. So the shop hey, also has shop. like salamis, and snacks. You can come make a whole little picnic here with your wine. Grazie. 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 Yay! We found a cold <laughs> bottle of white. So this is Vinaio de San Gimignano. Okay, let's see how much sandwiches are here. Oh. That Michelangelo one sounds good. It's got sfricciolona salami, cream cheese, olive cream, and fresh tomato. Are you gonna get Inferno? Inferno. I don't know what capocolo is. That's a new word. I feel like I've heard that before. I just don't know. Inferno. Oh, that is so warm. That's amazing. Got the goods. Oh, someone started without me. Some days are more exciting than others. San Gimignano is a beautiful, beautiful little town and its towers and its atmosphere. Well, the atmosphere is a bit touristy, but the town is a beautiful place. And we've been seeing such exciting stuff. Today's a little bit more calm. It's harder to get amped up as we have because the town's so small as well. There's a Mahalatso church tower, gelato, which we'll still get to. And wine. And wine. Oh yeah, and we got our wine. So, ticked off a few boxes. So, now that we've gotten these sandwiches, oh, they are so warm and they smell so good. We are going to the little panoramic lookout point here because we love to get our food as takeaway and go sit in either a piazza or overlooking a beautiful view. And so we're gonna have our sandwiches and our San Gimignano wine. Well, we don't know if there actually is a beautiful view. It just it, there was a beautiful yeah. view this way. It said that there was, so. Do we just sign it on? Oh, I don't know. It says Panoramico. Wait. Ha, I was right. 
Mateo said the he's like, where did the sign go? I said, but it said it was over here. So it says, Punto Panoramico. We made it. See? Sweet. I got us. I don't know. <laughs> we will find out. <laughs> Watch, it's like nothing. Is it take us all the way back to the top? <laughs> it's gonna take us to La Roca. I feel like we're going on an adventure. <laughs> it's like the Frodo Baggins in the Shaw. Yeah. Okay, wait, is that? No? Uh, Oh, I think, I mean, take us all the way back to the top. no, it's not. This looks panoramic-y. Mm, like Why are you starting without me? Oh, oh, well, this is someone's house. <gasps> wow, that's a nice view. Yeah, can we go sit in their garden? See, look, it was right. <laughs> I'm get my glasses down there. <laughs> all right, good job. There we go. I did it. That sounds great, my love. This is just how we ended up today. <laughs> Does mine have truffle on it? Yeah. Oh. Is it good? Mm, it is good. This place is called Vinayo. I think it's like the, not the Antigua Vinayo, it's just the Vinayo. Different shop, good sandwiches though. Nice and big, tastes good. Tastes like truffle, ham, good views, and I actually can't remember what else was on the menu. But it sounded good. I thought mine was supposed to be spicy. It tastes like yeah. I haven't had sweet chamona salami in so long, and that just like hit the spot. The bread is really soft. It's got a nice golden crisp from the outside, but it's still really soft. and. These ingredients are just amazing together. Mm. That was an excellent panino. I got the Michelangelo. Oh, we're just gonna stand here and enjoy our sandwich. You crack a lot of wine, but it's definitely gonna get blown over. You can even hear what I'm saying. This backdrop looks fake. This is gonna have to be done strategically because Michelle's holding both our sandwiches, the camera, <laughs> And if I put a cup down, it's just going to get blown away. So <laughs> I've got a ah, cup in the bag. Elastic off. The wind is not our friend today. This is doing right. <laughs> Thank you. Preparation is <laughs> So today we have this 1300 one from 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Sinano. Bernaccia di San Gimignano. So you see, we're doing the wines right. We have the right wine. Make sure it doesn't blow over. Mm. Moist. Yeah, you hold on to that bad boy. <laughs> Just take it one step at a time. Sandwich hands, what do I do? <laughs> it's exactly what we needed. We've nailed it, nailed the combo. Now we have to strategically eat so nothing blows over. You're playing a very perilous game, my love. <laughs> why don't we just the share a cup? Why don't we just share a cup? There we go. That's what I was gonna do. Oh, okay. Now what? Now we just... Which one's mine? You have to... You have to sip me the wine. Oh! Delightful. That is nice. That is an excellent white wine. If you guys know us, you know we don't spend more than like 3 or 4 euro on a bottle of wine. This was 8. But it was cold. So I feel like maybe we got a bonus there. You can definitely taste the quality in this. With the paninis, with this literal fake looking backdrop. <laughs> I don't think it gets much better than this. The two sandwiches with two waters cost us 19. This bottle cost eight. The view is free. And this is why you should get takeaway and come see a beautiful spot. Oh, just took, in, took a moment to appreciate the gorgeous views, eat our delicious paninis. Honestly, I think that's probably one of the best paninis I've had in Italy. That's bold. I know that is a very bold statement for me to say. It rivals the one at Antico. If anything, I'm maybe a notch above. Now we're gonna go climb. 
tallest tower in the city. The Campanile of the Duomo. It doesn't have that name though. Well, I've given it's it to me. Of the Duomo. <laughs> Still pretty windy. It's getting a little bit cold. It's 4 p.m. Hopefully we can see a nice golden glow over the city now. Not gonna lie. These entrances are quite confusing. I think this tower is the this tower. One? Torre Grossa. Down another alleyway. I don't think the entrance is here. But or maybe it is. It is. Wow. Well, this is cool. Is that it there? Probably. No, that's the museo. Like 15 arrows around here. What is that one? <laughs> Palazzo Torre. I'm not sure. <laughs> Did we just end up back on the street? Why is it so cool? That's seriously, how long did that fall She okay, said the entrance go. is next to the museum. Torre Grossa, that's the one we're climbing. But this is looking pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is gonna be a museum, Mish. No. This will be a museum. Entrance? I, I think see. You're into the tower through the museum. Oh, cool. That looks so cool. I'm pretty sure I heard her say you need to get to the tower through the museum. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what she said. Torre Grossa. That's us. Okay, so I was right. <laughs> so you have to come to the museum, and then there's a separate way to get up to the tower. Oh, is there like little info points, or is this the museum also? Interesting. Maybe it's like a museum tower experience? I think it is a museum tower. <laughs> Definitely a lot of space in this one. Oh, <laughs> we got to turn. Look for the signs. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most confusing entry situation we've had, but that's okay. This is so steep. I don't know if you can tell, but it does look like the, stair the staircase just goes up 90 degrees. All right, this is a bit hard after drinking half a bottle of wine each. <laughs> we've gone up like 10 steps, breathing heavily already. Hey Misha, come give us some facts. Ah, perfect. So Torre Grossa is 54 meters high. It's 218 steps to the top. There is no lift or elevator. So if you have a mobility issue, keep that in mind. That's it. Okay, pretty wide metal stairwell here. That's a good sign. This is some solid steel. <laughs> solid steel. I'm feeling rather top heavy at present. Whew. All right, well, since we're on the way up, this is the tallest tower in the city of about 14 towers. There used to be 72 in the city back in the medieval days. <laughs> the towers were built by rich merchant families who were trying to compete with each other. The higher your tower, the more powerful and wealthy you seem. Nowadays, it's men measure with different metrics. <laughs> Did you get that? That was funny. There used to actually be a law in place that stopped them from building the towers over certain heights. That height was the height of the town hall. I can't tell facts about climbing stairs. It seems to be this metal situation pretty continuously. It's a very dark climb, but I do appreciate the newness of the steps. Is that wind? Is it wind? Probably. <laughs> we tried to escape the wind now, I think it's we're going to the high point in the city now, it's about to get a lot worse. If you do need to take a break though, there are these nice little spots with windows and gorgeous views. So you can take a break whenever you want. Oh, is that where we go? Seriously. Up. It's, this is a 90 degree incline. What's your head? Oh. This is a 90 degree incline. You literally have to climb sideways. Oh baby, it sounds so windy. Hold on to your glasses. Keep going. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm really not kidding. This seems very aggressive. <laughs> Careful. Backpack. You have to crawl out Backpack. of here. Backpack. You have to crawl out of here. Backpack. Give me your... Give it here. This is not a joke. Do not smack your head. That's where we were earlier on La Roca, where 
we saw the Dante speaker. That is a straight 90 degree incline. It's very windy up there, so just hold on to your glasses. <laughs> oh, we made it. That is the most perilous thing I've ever done. Okay. I mean, <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> just hold on to your stuff. <laughs> okay. We made it. That was cool. I, uh, I need another bottle of wine to recover from. Yeah. Okay, we can enjoy the views from the comfort of the windows down here. Oh, hey, look at that. All I could see was hair. Incredibly awesome tower to climb. The city's beautiful from above. It's worth the climb. But yeah, that wasn't very pleasant in the most windy day of the year. But again, beautiful rooftop city. Worth the climb. If you can get up those little stairs. So if you can't actually make it to the top, you can make it up to here on normal stairs. In the last little bit is the hard part. But you still get a nice view from here. I mean, this is, you're just behind a piece of glass. Okay, there's a lot of forehead marks here, so clearly. <laughs> if you notice this tower is empty, a lot of the towers were just built just for height, not actually for any purpose, but to have a high tower that you couldn't do anything with, which is just a symbol of power and wealth. Which is quite, I mean, nothing's changed over the last 600 years. <laughs> I mean, people are still the same, <laughs> trying right. to outcompete one another. I think I've tasted more of my Pantene Garnier Fructis products more than I care to today. So we're going back down the tower. 
and I think uh, this calls for some Jalotsky. So we're gonna go to the world famous gelato shop and try some very interesting gelato flavors now. And gelato. Jersey first. Oh. All right, so bottle of wine plus tower was the right move. That made me enjoy <laughs> our day a tad bit more. I mean, it's a little bit, a bit too chill this morning. Like, wasn't too much to do. It's a very small town. But now we are feeling better. Now we're going to have some gelato, I think, in the near future. But like, near future, I mean like five minutes <laughs> after I put my jersey on. Again, jersey in South Africa means sweater, not a sports jersey. Oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Cut him off. Cut him off. My laugh just echoed across the piazza. <laughs> this guy. Hey, look at that. The wind has gone away. The wind has died. Now we're going to Gelateria Dondoli, the world's most famous gelato. He won the world gelato competition in 2006, 7, 8, and 9. Oh. And this is a chair. I watched when we were going to Sicily. Yeah. We watched all your videos. And because of you, we knew how to use the train in, the, in Sicily. Oh. So, <laughs> big fun, really. Yeah, yeah. So you're amazing, Tom. guys. I'm, I'm Thomas. 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 Nice yes. Where are you from? Oh, we, I'm from Poland, but we live in UK. Oh, oh okay. How many regions you have left? <laughs> <laughs> this is Thomas. And I'm a big fan of global ah. expats. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much for saying hello. That just made my day. When you guys see us, please say hello. That literally just made our day. Okay, back to Mateo's ice cream flavors. Hey, you got to pick which, which combination you want. I don't know. I want all of them. Okay, I don't like fruits. So Can I just show you how much research we have done? Just no, even are on this. Popular just on the gelato. This is excessive, but necessary. Okay, they're calling us. Chaotic. Is that a tomato? There's one called an Italian. Dolce Amaro. No, okay. Who's gonna have one of Crema di Santa Fina and Dolce Amaro? Yes. Okay. Oh, grazie. That's a grace. Grazie mille. <laughs> we got three ice creams. This is just the most aggressive thing we've done in a minute. This is ridiculous. You're going to feel disgusting after this. You know that. It's fine. It's for a cause. Okay. Even when it's windy and cold, gelato still melts fast. This is made with San Gimignano red wine. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it literally looks like red wine, color-wise. Kind of smells like red wine. This is gonna be interesting. Whoa. That is so bizarre. No serviettes. Did we bring serviettes? We did not bring serviettes. Guys, this is crazy. It's literally red wine gelato. What is this one? I don't even That's know. That's Michelle and, and grape, pink grapefruits. Oh, I'm eating me as a gelato. Mm. Oh, I absolutely love whatever this is. This one is definitely the Michelle because there's orange bitters in it. Not gonna lie, not sad that it's named the same as me because that is delicious. Granted, it's not named after me. It's named after Michelle Obama. And I love that. That is actually delicious. Okay, seriously, while she's there, I need to actually look around. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> right? It's like... I don't like that. It's got mascarpone cheese and that's why. It's mixed with... The San Gimignano is mixed with mascarpone, so... I don't like that at all. This is the messiest day we've had in a minute. So this is a vernacha and pink grapefruit gelato. So there is, yo, in this panicked state of eating gelato <laughs> before it melts, the red wine gelato was San Genovese grapes. San Genovese. San Genovese. <laughs> I am losing it at present. This is the vernacha di San Gimignano white wine gelato that is also mixed with pink grapefruit. And as much as I do not like grapefruit, 
because it is bitter, this gelato is actually a winner. So even if you don't like grapefruit, definitely give this a try because it's actually delicious. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> Sorry, we're in between this again. Wait, which one is that one? I don't know. What other ones did you order? One of them is the award winner. That's the award that's, winner. That's good. I don't know what, I can't remember what's in what. Oh, baby. Mm. What is that? I like that though. But <laughs> I'm going to have to wipe these stairs down just to be a kind <laughs> human being after this. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. Make sure it's... Guys, okay. Can we just look at the situation? This is by far our messiest episode. And it's actually like the coldest day that we have filmed so far this year. The sun. <laughs> the Gulva expat's falling apart. Mm. The Michelle's got honey and almond bitters from my understanding. So that one is actually pretty delicious. I love that. Orange bitters, not almond bitters, sorry. Oh, grapefruit's actually damn good. Yeah. I like that a lot. With the white wine. We look like a hot mess right now. <laughs> the Michelle is good. Yeah, we should have taken out our wipes <laughs> first, to be honest. This is embarrassing. This is the most aggressive amount of gelato. I'm just gonna have to drink. This is AMSR right here. For all of those that don't know what ASMR is, it's this new strange thing on the internet where you listen to people make funny noises and it does something for your senses or something. I don't know. Kids these days. Can we just talk about the fact that it's running down your ankle? Why is the green one? We look like pigeons. We have literally left like a bunch of droppings. I'm gonna have to wipe down this entire place. Don't spill on me. This is why you travel with wet wipes. I like all of them except the, the red, the red wine. wine, except Michelle had to go and get us a full cup of red wine as well. You know, I just committed, you know? That was a mistake in the moment. What is this one? I haven't tried the award winning one yet, but now that they've mushed together, I don't know what it is. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? What is that? I don't know. I can't What's remember. I have it written down. Oh, that's actually really good though. It's kind of weird at first, but then it's really good. Guys, I feel like this was a hot mess express gelato tasting experience, but eat it fast. Try the wine ones and also try the signature flavor. That's all I have to say. So now we get milkshakes as well. <laughs> okay. And this is why we eat in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> We're literally going to have to power wash this step. In all honesty, the ice cream is delicious. I don't, okay. it, maybe, maybe like pick a flavor. <laughs> don't mix your flavors. They melt way too fast for you to actually truly enjoy the flavors. So just pick a flavor. Maybe let your spouse, your child get another flavor. You guys can try each other's flavors. That's the best thing. And don't forget napkins. For the love of all that's humane, do not forget napkins. Agreed. After devouring the other two cups, and I got into the red wine one, it's actually pretty good. First taste not very good, but after a while it actually grows on you. It's weird. Like a grapevine. It tastes like a grapevine. <laughs> it's good though. What a good moral citizen, eh? Hi! Hello. Hello. Hi! Hi! I'm Michelle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've been following you over here. Thank you. God, I'm here and you, Shri, from India. Subscribers! Woo! Thank you so much for saying hello. Nice meeting you. Can I even take a picture? Yeah. Oh, twice in one day. We're very lucky. Two groups of subscribers or two different subscribers that I was. It just Lisa, makes our hello. day. I was like dripping in sticky gelato and I just like totally put a smile on my face. So please say hello to us when you see us because really it just oh warms our hearts. It makes us happy. The church bells are chiming. It's almost 6 p.m. and we need to catch our bus back. But we have had a very lovely and just chill day today. It started in out a bit slow, but I think it ended on a half. Yeah. Especially a sugar half. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>